Hello there, I'm Charlie Haldeman in for Cynthia tonight. New traffic sensors are popping up at intersections all around Lake Charles. KPLC's Jaron Jordan is in the studio with more on those sensors and if you'll start to see more in the future, Jaron. Yeah, Charlie, well, the quick answer to that is yes. You will start to see more of these at more intersections throughout Lake Charles. And if you're anything like me who fears red light and speed cameras, you'll be glad to hear that these really aren't cameras but motion sensors that are only controlling when the lights change. At the intersection of Mill and Ryan Streets or 3rd Avenue and Broad Street, new technology is changing the way traffic lights are changing. Instead of the standard lights where normally they are set for time, you know, certain times at each, at each angle they come in, these particular lights are more video set. When a vehicle pulls up, then the lights are activated at that time. Todd Sherman with the Lake Charles Department of Public Works says the new sensors provide higher accuracy. So far, they're at about 12 intersections around the city, and he says that number will only grow. It'll depend on the intersection, depend on the traffic count that we do at that particular intersection. Some of them will require it and some won't. The new traffic light motion sensors are phasing out a system that's been around for decades. It was a system where sensors are built underneath the streets, and when vehicles would drive over them, they would trigger this box to change the lights. And Sherman says the sensors are so advanced that thanks to infrared technology, they work through bad weather situations and at night. If there's a, uh, an area where there's not a lot of traffic and then all of a sudden the vehicle pulls up, then the lights are set based on the, the coming into contact with the lights. Sherman says contrary to bigger, more metropolitan areas, these sensors aren't catching people who run red lights or who speed. It's just the transportation world's way of keeping up with technology. As we, you know, as we fix and update our um, uh, particular um, intersections, we'll be replacing them with those systems. And Sherman says they're working to phase in these new sensors at more intersections. Meanwhile, the old system of wire triggers underground continues working at most intersections around the city. At your service, Jaron Jordan, KPLC 7 News.